We want to build a visualization with pagination because also here I have a long list and you see I can just endlessly scroll down and down and down. As a very first step, let's give the user the option to choose the number of items that they want to show. So for that, we need a numeric parameter. Over here, new parameter, numeric range. Add this slice to the page and click on create. Now we need to add another numeric range parameter because we also want to have the option where the user can click on the page number that they want to go to. So the next thing that we need to do is to rank the items. Now over here, that's the car dealers based on the series that you're visualizing. Here that is total sales. So we can do this with a measure. So let's add a measure and then we can close the rank X function and that's it. And here I'm just going to add it to tooltip. However, it would probably be nice to also show it in the visualization. Well, total labels only shows if you have two series or more. How? What we can do is make use of a dummy measure. So let's call it like that. Dummy equals zero. And over here, we're going to add it this time right next to total sales. Okay, now the colors change. However, there's not really a new series that pops up over here visibly. However, you do see it in the legend. I'm going to add total labels. And what about the data labels here? Well, there we're going to use the custom labels and write a measure that then returns the rank. And this one we can then use as a label. Data labels, watch out that you apply it to the correct series, which is in this case, total sales. Then over here on the options, we can decide on the position inside base. Then here for values, this is where it gets interesting because here under custom labels, we can choose the field and the field is going to be item rank label. Let's write a measure that we use as a filter for a bar chart. Okay, so items show. And we have to take the item filter, drag it here to the filter section. Let's drag it to the top. This needs to be equal to one. And you see now at the moment, we are looking at only items number 41 to 50. I wanna see 10 items and I'm on page number five. If I say that I want to have five items, now you see it nicely shows me the top five. Still kind of ugly, so let's improve how it looks like. Okay, now that looks kind of okay, but you see a problem though, right? So here, if we make it wider, 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 all the way up to pages where we even don't have any items. Now, how to do that? Another measure. Now, the last thing that needs to be returned is then that page filter. And here we have to use that new measure as a filter. I'm going to say that it needs to be equal to one. And now you see it goes from one to 17. If I put in the 10, then it should give me nine, just like predicted.